Hey, in many cases, the increase in renters has been blamed, at least partially, on millennials not wanting to be tied down or not working hard enough to afford buying. In fact, most renters want to buy according to the separate Pew report that we discussed several weeks ago. This survey cites 72% of renters said that they would like to buy a house at some point. About 65% of renters said that they currently rent as a result of circumstances compared with 32% who said that they rent as a matter of choice. When asked about the specific reasons why they rent, a majority of renters, especially non-whites, cited financial reasons. Even though mortgages are still cheap on a historical basis, housing inventories remain low, in some market prices have soared, and mortgage standards have remained pretty tough, so it's a little hard to get underwritten. Lenders have also been under more scrutiny with the implementation of RESPA, making a complex process even more complex, and quite frankly, just a pain. Plus, a portion of qualified buyers have decided to put off home ownership with the fear that the economy and health of the housing market could decline. All valid reasons why home ownership has declined, Americans still want to buy houses. Some legitimately can't afford to do it right now, while others are, you know, just fearful of another housing bubble. And there are those that are waiting for better opportunities and the opportunity and time to buy. Many simply lack the means to reasonably expect ever to be able to make a purchase. Right. Owning a home remains part of the American dream, at least for most Americans, but it's also a less attainable goal than it was for previous generations. Now for minding your own business. All right, marketing is communication. Communication is talking. The largest demographic in home purchases is quickly becoming the millennial. So today let's talk about how to talk to millennials when it comes to the home ownership decision. Millennials are native online researchers. 80% of them wouldn't buy a deodorant without reading 12 reviews online before choosing the one for them. Hey, when my kids are looking to buy tennis shoes, it's amazing how much YouTube videos they're gonna watch. Millennials want businesses to socialize with them, to make them part of the conversation, to participate. And what's the best way to communicate with millennials? Yep, of course, it's social media. 90% of young adults use social media and a third of millennials say it's one of the preferred channels for communicating with businesses. Talking to potential buyers through social media may seem foreign to you, but it is a more expedient and preferred method for the millennial. Give them real life experiences, facts, answer their questions, they're gonna feel a lot better. Taking them seriously will go a long way in the conversation. Well, that's it for this edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and I look forward to catching up with you.